This is like my third time recording this because I keep messing up dates. I was actually just recording this video and realized I had all the days like screwed up. Uh, so I'm sitting back down recording this for the third time. Hopefully I get it right this time. Uh, this is another week of training video. Um, this is the week of May 13th to May 19th. Um, it is today, it is May 21st, so it is going up a little bit late. They usually go up on the Sundays of the week I'm talking about, uh, but this one's going to be going up a little bit later, uh, but that's fine. Uh, this was the week of my district uh, track meet. If you guys not have seen that video, go check that video out. It was actually my last ever uh, high school track meet. Uh, so we'll just start off. Uh, Monday of this week, I did a workout. I did four times 300 meters um, with every 100 meter progression. Uh, so the first 100 meters was at like 75%, and then the next was at 85, and then the last was at 95. Uh, after that, uh, we did four of those, like I said. Um, rest was just whatever we needed, um, just kind of full recovery. And then um, we did a half a mile uh, jog around the track after the four 300s. And then we did four times 150 all out. Um, it was, uh, and also in this workout, the uh, distance team did it with me, so it was nice to have everyone, you know, out on the track doing the same workouts. I'm um, pretty sure that's the first time this season that everyone has been doing the same workout, so that was great um, to have all of them there. And then Tuesday was kind of like a recovery day from that workout, and then also kind of like a pre-meet day. Um, districts was Wednesday, Friday. Um, Tuesday, I uh, did four miles with the distance guys. Uh, it was at like 740 pace, I believe, so just recovery stuff. Real easy, um, just jogged around. And then Wednesday, I didn't even mention this in like the track meet vlog video I made, but Wednesday I did run the 4x8. Um, me and the 4x8 team were trying, were going for uh, the school record. I ran a 158 leg. Um, I was the first leg. Ran 158, came through third place, I believe. Um, but it was all around, you know, a great race for me. The team ended up running 918 or not 918, sorry, 819. Um, and we ended up missing the school record by about three seconds. Um, but, you know, all around good stuff from them. Uh, they're a pretty young team. Um, our second runner is a freshman. And then we don't really have a fourth runner. We ended up subbing in a freshman. Uh, we've been trying moving people around all year, trying to find a fourth runner. Um, but that's kind of our issue. Uh, that's kind of why we can't lock down that school record. But uh, we did end up PRing in the uh, 4x8 um, by about, I think it was like 30 seconds, which is kind of crazy. Um, we've never really had like a solid team. Um, I remember every time I've ran the 4x8 before, I've ran like a 205 to 207 leg. Um, but today, uh, that day, obviously ran 158 um, and all the other guys PR'd. So that was great work from all of them. Um, let's see, Thursday now. I did uh, recovery as well as like a pre-meet. Uh, Friday was like the big race for me. Uh, Thursday I did three miles with the uh, cross-country guys, super easy. Um, that's basically all I did for that day and then just chilled out for the rest of the day. And then Friday was my big day. Ran the 3200, ran 931, uh, PR'd by nine seconds, uh, broke my own school record by nine seconds, um, and ended up uh, not getting out of districts by .04 seconds. Uh, which is, you know, perfectly fine. Um, after this, though, I was planning on taking a break. Um, so Saturday I didn't run. I was planning on taking a week break uh, just because after every season, uh, cross indoor track and outdoor track, I take a week break kind of just to get my legs back under me and get my mind back to like wanting to run because after a season you really can just be uh, super tired out uh, mentally and physically. Uh, so I usually like to take a week break kind of just to chill out and not really do a whole lot. Uh, but my coach informed me about this 5K um, that was coming up on Memorial Day, um, and he told me it was really fast, looked up results, went around 14.33 last year, and then top 10 was like 15.30. Uh, so it's a super fast race, and I want to run a really fast 5K. I'm in great shape, so I thought, you know, I might as well just go for it and see what happens. Uh, my 5K PR and cross was 15.59. Uh, that's my overall 5K PR. Um, so I'm hoping to break that. I'm hoping to run like 1540, uh, maybe 1530s. Um, if I can get that low, that would be pretty awesome. Um, and then Saturday, like I said, took the day off. And then Sunday, 
Um, after I got that news, uh, he just said, you know, train for one more week, then run that 5K and see what happens. So uh, Sunday, I did kind of a longer run. I did 10 miles on the bike path. Um, I think it was 640 something pace. Uh, so a pretty solid run. I uh, haven't really done a whole lot of that longer stuff um, in track season. So it was cool to get back out there and do that. Um, but I'll be throwing up the Strava stuff to all this stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.